the 11th of July 2012. I'm back at Valley Ground Nurseries again. You can see the two pot modules. On the uh, left hand side we've got Canna and on the right hand side here we've got Gold Label. They were planted, these plants, I think the 19th of December. If you have a look back at the videos you'll be able to see. The canna are taller because we took the flowers out because we thought we had a deficiency in the plants but if you look back over the videos we realised that um, we were actually growing the wrong strain. We should be growing red Palermo but we're growing orange and yellow. Completely different plant, completely different yield. We'll probably expect from this variety the orange and the yellow to get between 15 and 18 kilos per square meter whereas the Palermo red which you can see here completely different looking plant looks nicer we'll expect to probably get probably between 25 to 28 kilos per square meter obviously all dependent on the weather the Palermo orange and yellow they do look quite sad lower down you've got leaf curl from um, lack of humidity and uh, but once you get in there as you can see the leaves look a little bit better always on the outskirts where the paths are the leaves always get a lot more curled because of the path is so dry down here below. So everything's going well. Picks comparable to the other orange and yellow in the nursery. We're saving between 40 and 50% of the water. I'm hardly ever here apart from to do the video. We've just now put the camera back up. You can see it up in the roof up there. So that should work okay. The yield is good. We're on track. Everything's forming properly. We're not getting any blossom end rot. So you can see the difference in colours. We've got these are red. Where are they? They're, they're turning to red. They've got yellow and orange, so a bit of a mishmash really. And then further down the line, well, the plants I would probably say 10, 12, 14 feet tall. Pretty tall, almost at the roof now. So right up there to the wire, didn't take long, still probably got four months to go, but doing okay. And then we turn into the block red here, they're setting okay, you can see up here, up there look, forming nicely. So we've got an eight and a half litre pot supporting roughly a 10 to 14 foot plant. Not too bad really. In cocoa being fed with a dedicated rock wall drip irrigation feed. So, you know, if you tweaked away, tweaked about with the nutrients, um, then you would probably get even better, better yield than, than you're getting now. But considering we're saving 40 to 50% of the water, um, the tanks are just either side here. You've got a 250 litre tank here being fed on this line and a 250 litre tank feeding this line here. But uh, yeah, all in all, very, very good indeed. As you can see down below, very simple, 16 mil pipe, which is here, and then reduce it down to six mil pipe for each aqua valve. If we get in there, we put the lids on upside down, it's just easier to take them off. There you go. So 16 mil, cut the pipe, and then 6 mil straight into the aqua valve, and the aqua valve does the rest, floods and drains. Floods to 20 mil, cuts off the water. When the plant's drunk all the water, then it refills the uh, tray that the aqua valve's sitting in. Pretty straightforward. We haven't maintained the aqua valves at all. Haven't done anything since the 19th of December, haven't cleaned them out, haven't got any roots coming out. What I've done this year, little trick, been trying it for the last 18 months, is in the pots we normally recommend that you put a root control disc in the tray gold face up and a Marix disc in the pot to stop the soil falling out. But what we've done here, and it's obviously working, is that we put a root control disc in the pot, gold face down, I forgot, I forgot um, or just didn't bother using the Marix disc. It's now 19th of December, what are we now? Seven, almost eight months since we put these plants in um, and we haven't got any roots coming out of the pots whatsoever. 
So obviously having a root control disc gold face down in the bottom of the pot works. Makes it simpler, less discs. It's all okay. And then at the end of the run, I'll do this in a minute, but we just flush the lines. Every two or three weeks I come back here, every month I come back here, I'll just flush the lines to get rid of any sediment. We've stopped using the nitrozyme now because it was too organic and it was causing just too much um, too much sediment in the lines and I was a bit concerned that they might potentially block the, uh, the aqua valves, but, um, so we stopped using it. So I'm going to go a bit higher now, if I can. Let's have a look. Hmm. Maybe I can't. Oh, not to matter. I'm going to try this one back here. This one. All right. Let's see if I can get that working. No, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right. So I'll go up now, have a look at the plants from above. So there's the trays down below. I'm now in, up in the nursery, in the roof. So you can see, canna on the left, gold label on the right. They're both doing equally as well. And obviously down below, you can see the trays. So I'm now about probably about 10, 14 feet up in the air. Have a look around the nursery. It's all going well. In a few months. There you go.